What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sho. In 2019, Analog followed up the success of their popular FPGA console, the Super NT. It was time for the Sega Genesis fans to also get some shine. This console was known as the Mega SG. As you can imagine, not much time went by before it too was jailbroken. However, unlike jailbreaking the Super NT, jailbreaking the Mega SG offers just a bit more bang for your buck and all of it playable off of your SD card. In this video, I will walk you through how to jailbreak your Mega SG. Link to the tools used in the description below. Before we get started, it's imperative that I mention what the jailbreak cannot do. It cannot play Sega CD games, nor can it play 32X games. You'll need physical hardware in order to play these games, or in the case of the Sega CD, flashcards such as the Mega SD or the Mega EverDrive Pro. Getting started, you will need an SD card that is 2GB or more. I personally recommend that you get something that is 16 or 32GB in size. This will allow you to put just about every possible ROM in the Genesis family onto the card with a little extra room. The SD card will need to be formatted as FAT32. If you have a card that is larger than 32 gigabytes, you will need to use a formatter tool. The one I recommend is FAT32 Format. Download the formatter, then format the SD card and rename it something that you can remember. In this example, I named it Mega underscore SG. With the SD card taken care of, head to the Smoke Monster GitHub for the Mega SG jailbreak. Click on the Go to File button on the page. On the next page, scroll down to the most recent jailbreak file, which is, at the time of this video, jailbreak version 7.8. Select the link and you will be taken to the next page that will allow you to download the zip file. Head back to the previous page, then click on the link Mega SG Jailbreak File System .zip. The next page will pop up, allowing you to download the zip file. Place the .bin firmware and the contents of the zip onto the root of the SD card. If you previously had old firmware on the console, you'll want to copy down those settings as the flashing process will reset all settings to default. Once finished, place the SD card back into the Mega SG, then begin the process of jailbreaking it. Power on the Mega SG and the LED should turn red, then begin to rapidly flash. This process will take about 2-3 minutes. Do not power off your console during this process. The Mega SG has been deemed unbreakable, but follow the disclaimer all the same. As it nears the end, there will be a pause on the LED, followed by the HDMI signal of the Mega SG cutting out. The main menu will boot back up once this process is complete. Once complete, Power off the console, place the SD card back into your PC, and delete the jailbreak firmware. Once you've deleted the firmware, you can now place all of the ROM files that you have legally obtained into its respective folders. These folders will be accessible by the Mega SG's UI on a per core basis. They are Genesis, SMS for Sega Master System and SG-1000, GG for Game Gear, and finally, Coleco for ColecoVision. Once you've gotten what you like, you can place your SD card back into the console. Upon powering on the console, you'll see that there is a new option known as cores. Selecting confirm on this option will take you to a set of four cores. 
Picking your core will take you to a disclaimer, then allow you to browse your SD card. If you press the up, start, A, B, and C buttons together while in a game, it'll perform a system reset in a similar manner to when you play a game cartridge. Pressing down and select will bring up the file browser, allowing you to pick another game. You can then go to the main menu to change settings or add cheat codes. Support for the Master System Core is expanded to allow you to play SMS and SG-1000 games. This support also extends to a few MSX games that have been hacked and converted to SMS. Within the core, you may change the audio between PCM Audio and the FM Synthesis sound chip. In order to do this, access the file browser, then press start to go to the menu. Navigate to core options, then tick the box, use FM. For enthusiasts of the SG-1000 and the SG-7000, you can swap the palettes so that they appear as they would for a Mark III or a Japanese SMS. In order to do so, access the file browser, press start for the main menu, then scroll down to video. Tick the box that says Advanced Mode, then scroll up to Extra Features. You may now tick the Palettes option as desired. You may also use an SMS BIOS if you so choose, though it's not required. Using a BIOS file will add a splash screen upon loading ROMs, and in some instances will play a built-in ROM if you trick the BIOS into thinking that there isn't a cartridge inserted. If you're interested in using a BIOS, tick the box that says Use BIOS under Core Options, then select a BIOS file. Here are the different BIOS files that I recommend, along with their CRC32 values. I'll include the dummy files for tricking the BIOS in the description below. Support for the Game Gear handles a great deal of the various Game Gear ROMs that exist, including Codemasters and the Korean versions. You may also use a BIOS file if you'd like, which enables the option of having Majesco's blue splash screen before the ROM file loads. Finally, support for the ColecoVision has been added to the Mega SG with the jailbreak. This support is expanded to also run Super Game module files. In order to play these, head to the core options for the ColecoVision and tick the box Use SGM. Unlike the other cores, the ColecoVision core will require the use of a BIOS file. If you try to load a game without a BIOS, you'll get a cannot load BIOS message. In order to load a BIOS, you will need to open up the file browser, head back to the main menu, then navigate to core options. Here are the BIOS files that I recommend, complete with their CRC32 values. While some BIOS files will give more of a visual flair, most retain similar functionality. However, there are a few BIOS files that can be seen as beneficial to your Coleco experience. These hacked files achieve this by removing the boot delay or allowing you to press the fire button to skip to the game. If you're interested in looking at more specifics on these cores, I recommend you check out the jailbreak PDF within the Smoke Monster GitHub. Link to this will be in the description below. Support for saving your games directly to the SD card has been added.
This process is handled automatically, but if you'd like, you can choose to have the state of the RAM saved with a prompt. Press down and select to bring up the Mega SG file browser, then press the start button. Navigate to system, then menu options. Tick the options prompt when saving RAM and save warning message. Finally, press the B button twice to go back a few pages, then scroll down to save your settings onto the console. When you're in a game, you can now press down and select to bring up the Mega SG prompt to save. Select yes to confirm and save the state of the RAM. These files will be saved as .sav files and will be located in the saves slash genesis folder. If you have .srm files from emulators like Kega Fusion or flashcards like the Mega SD or the Mega EverDrive Pro, you can carry these over too. Drop these files in the saves slash genesis folder, making sure that their name matches the name of the ROM file. Change the extension from .srm to .sav. I'd like to give a shout out to my man, Great Hierophant. This gentleman has been mostly silent, but a hardworking contributor to the retro community for more years than I can count. He has contributed to various efforts concerning the Famicom and NES, as well as preservation. He is also author to the self-same jailbreak PDF that exists on the Smoke Monster GitHub. It has also been a pleasure of mine to have him check on my work for a quite a number of these videos that I have produced for you. If you would like to check out his work, I'll leave a link to his blog and his YouTube down in the description below. I would also recommend after this video that you check out Firebrand X's channel. He produced a settings video for the Mega SG, complete with all the obsessive and meticulously placed pixels you could imagine. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. What's your favorite Sega Genesis game? Do you have a game on this system that you would like to recommend? Any questions for me concerning this video? Let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, consider dropping a sub or a like. Also, why not check this video out? Peace.